All right, guys, welcome back to another FSD video. Today we are on version 12.5.1.3. We are currently in a Model Y hardware for 2024. We are currently taking a short drive, about nine minutes here, and uh, testing out how FSD is doing in the rain. I mean, it's a little sprinkling, but maybe it'll come down a little bit more. Uh, that's to be determined by the weather today. It has been driving pretty good in the rain. So I'm not expecting too much difference compared to the previous videos, but it is also a little bit darker out. So we'll see how it handles these new conditions. Now we handled that merge correctly. We didn't really have to do anything. There wasn't any cars next to us. So all we had to do was proceed straight there. And we are coming up on one of the biggest issues that I have in this build and any build in I think 12.5. Uh, is the blinking red light with a stop sign. For whatever reason, if I have two of those together, FSD does a stop and go kind of thing. And I'm afraid that someone's gonna rear end me. So I'm really hoping that that gets fixed to the next build, uh, but I don't know. We'll see how it handles today. I'm sure that it'll do the stop and go and I will probably hit the accelerator because I don't want the person behind me to run into me. It's handling these garbage cans fine, not hitting them, giving them enough clearance, and they are very much on the road. So here's the stopping first stop, and it goes, stops, and then, okay, so I'm gonna hit the accelerator there because we can't do that there. Sometimes it really slams on the brakes, sometimes it doesn't. That one was like real quick slamming on the brakes right there, which is definitely not good. Um, I'm sure the team will fix it eventually, but still continues to be an issue in 12.5.1.3. Hopefully that does get fixed. Now, we have been seeing pretty good results on this route, and it's been treating, I mean, besides that right there, that's probably the worst part, but it has, we have like these wider lanes that is really two lanes, but there's no paint to signify that it is two lanes. So previous versions of the car, like FSD prior to 12.5, uh, would have issues trying to offset for the other lane. It would just kind of hug the middle and call it one lane, but it's been doing a lot better with calling it uh, two lanes. So this is the first case where we have that, where it actually is like showing paint, but there's no paint there. So it's now just predicting that it's two lanes, which is interesting. And we are just hugging onto the left side here. We're not hugging the middle of the road. And this continues on through this light um, it's showing two lanes there as well, but it's also not, it is two lanes, but there is no paint as you can see here, uh, no paint, but we are seeing paint now on the visualization, which normally isn't the case. Normally it looks like that. So that's interesting. Uh, then we do have the paint here and then we do kind of usually move a little bit over cause it's usually a little to the center, but nothing to complain about. And if a car was coming up there, it would handle that perfectly fine. Now we should just kind of go around this guy. We are a little bit going around, but I would have liked it to see it a little earlier, scoot over and then go around that vehicle. But so far so good on this build. Uh, I think it's a slight regression from the previous build. I was really enjoying the previous build, but you know, you got to win some to lose some. The team's been doing great over there. We did not get an update Friday, which is the first time I think in a month or so that we didn't get an update on a Friday. Usually I'd be getting the update today on a Monday, but uh, so far no updates as far as I know have been going out. Um, people are suspecting that it's gonna be on Cybertruck, the next release. Uh, nothing's confirmed on that, but that is the suspicion, which would be cool. It'd be really interesting to see, people aren't sure if the wheel's gonna move the same way or what's gonna go on with that. So that's gonna be interesting since it is steer by wire. Um, and we're still waiting for hardware three cars to get 12.5. Uh, so that should really be around the corner at any moment. Um, Elon said, I don't know, I wanna say like around 15 days ago that it was gonna be out in 10 days. I'm sure that was just a really rough approximation, nothing serious. Uh, so we should probably be seeing it any day now. But I, I'm not worried about that. I think it's going to come out um, 
in a matter of time. So here we also have a weird case where that is a shoulder line, but people use that as a lane. And since they don't fully fit in the shoulder, they kind of come into our lane a little bit. So I like to hug the uh, middle yellow lane here, but FSD kind of just centers it right in the middle. Um, but so did the car in front of us and pretty much the car behind us. So it's acting just like another vehicle on the road. So I guess that's fine. Really nothing to complain about. There was no vehicles coming over to the side and they should have had plenty of room anyways. So also I think that's more of a design flaw with the road, not FSD. Uh, it, they should have just put in two lanes there. There's really no reason to not have those two lanes. Maybe it was not up to code for having wide enough where like the lanes wouldn't be wide enough or something I'm not too sure so here's another one uh, where FSD really likes to hug the center here but it looks like we are kind of moving on to the side here and we're not trying to go around them which it sometimes does so that seems really good really do like to see that because that was the the last one to needing to be fixed it does seem at least better um, but possibly completely fixed and resolved so Really good to see. Uh, we're not scooting over in time over here again. That's like a 50-50 with all builds. 12.4.3 was probably the best with that. But yeah, I think that's gonna conclude our video, guys. Thanks for watching. You have a great one. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks, guys.